the darkness there but i also want to know why why you won't take these pictures of these men girl why <laughs> we focus around um <clears throat> the sexual liberation and the sexual freedom of uh african women their sex lives basically so exciting he's been talking about it everybody's been saying beach read oh my goodness at eviction right the landlord is just like i'm raising the price hiking the price my darling or else you're out so she ends up having to be a lady of the night if you are when i don't know don't ask me questions i can't answer <laughs> mowgli anybody but hongi jungle boku maria ya 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 mythology Hey bookers, hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. I wanted to share with you some of the books that I'm going to be reading. These are the books I've literally overhauled all the books that I was planning on reading last year and I wanted to start the new year fresh with different books. It tends to happen when you have quite a lot of books to choose from, but in truth, I really want to read these books and I wanted to share with you some of the books that I'll be reading. So these are the books that are going to be on my TBR. And if we've got time, maybe at the end of the video, I can also throw in some uh, new books that I picked up, books that were sent to me by publishers and so on and so forth. So this is really, really exciting. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for choosing me over and over again. As you know, I appreciate you so, so much. Please subscribe to the channel if you like the content that the channel provides you, that I provide you. Please do consider subscribing to the channel. Join the membership space because there's also content on there. It's coming. I'm still planning my content for the year. So please just give me a little bit of grace, especially when it comes to the membership space. But we're here. I'm going to share with you some of the books that I'll be reading and I'm looking forward to it so, so much. So let's get started. All right. So uh, the first book is this one. This is When the Filter Fades by Janine Jellers. Now, Janine Jellers is a South African born and bred author. Really, really excited. She's based in Cape Town. And this, I believe, is the perfect summer read. We are still in summer and I'm going to be starting this book literally today. I was supposed to start it a week ago, but I was finishing off something else. But I'm going to start this one today. In this one, we follow three women, three really pretty women. Can you see? Yeah, three really, really pretty women. Uh, we are following Lynn, who is an influencer. Listen, she does outfit of the days. She's always posing on her influencing pages, her social pages with the greatest outfits on. She's known as Linfluencer. You know what I'm saying? People love her. They love following her. Great content creator. And then we have Lebu. Lebu is a, listen, let me tell you, child star prodigy, right? She grew up in the limelight. But then as she's gotten older things have kind of really dried up all the opportunities have dried up kind of evaporated into thin air but she finds herself in a lot of controversial in the news quite a bit because of controversial trending things um she's quite the controversial character then we have mbali who is an entertainment blogger Hey, Owami, sounds right, anybody? <laughs> she is an entertainment blogger and she's got her own website and she drops the hottest topics. She's the first one on board. She's pushing, she's going. And she, things are getting a little bit tricky for her because of one hashtag called hashtag hustle. Listen, things might look like, this hashtag looks like it could be threatening her whole career. So we watch in this book, we watch the dynamics between all the characters, how their lives kind of collide. Uh, we watch their wins and we watch their woes as well. But certain things happen between all these three characters that brings their lives together in a good way or in a bad way. We just don't know. So I'm really, really excited to read this. Everybody's been talking about it. Everybody's been saying beach read oh my goodness i can't be at the beach i can't be at the beach i'm a joba girl but i'm gonna read it anyway because it's summertime and it's a south african author so i'm really really excited i haven't read anything by a south african author in a while so i'm really looking forward to this Yay. next one is uh, boy parts by eliza clark and i started reading this literally got five pages in 
I started reading this last year and I couldn't get into it for maybe it was because it was the latter part of the year and I was really starting to feel tired and the year in fatigue and all of that but let me tell you if there is something by Eliza Clark I'm reading it I just want to read it. In this one, we follow Irina. Irina is a beautiful, stunning, gorgeous woman, very, very intelligent, very, very creative. And Elena has this really intrinsic, but very weird obsession with male body parts. You know, this, did I say body parts? Boy parts, right? She has a very intrinsic obsession with taking pictures of the male body naked not just naked okay and um in this one she's stuck in a dead-end job and she's just like i'm a bartender whatever i don't even want to do this bro but then one day she gets an opportunity to showcase some of her photography or her designs in an art gallery and now this collides her world because this obsession that she has of taking naked pictures of men is actually quite darker than it seems. So it, 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 it draws to this culmination which involves her best friend and a young man from a local supermarket who has attracted her attention. So excited, so excited. So there's a little bit of darkness there, but I also wanna know why, why you won't take these pictures of these men, girl, why? <laughs> and the next one is The Sex Lives of African Women. Now this is a nonfiction by Nana the the Koa um, Sekiyama. I'm sorry if I'm saying that incorrectly. I do apologize. But this is more like essays or I think essays or rather maybe also an anthology following the lives of different women on the African continent and with regards to their sexual liberation, their sexual choices, uh, the things that they do that, you know, kind of enhances their sexual freedom. So we follow a woman who is in Egypt, right? And she is, uh, she queer, yes, she's queer. She finds a co queer community in Egypt. And as you can imagine, this might be a little bit of a tricky situation because Egypt is an Arab country so and in one of the other stories you have a lady who has a polyamorous relationship where she is you know polyamory apparently it's the thing you know it's the, it's those uh, hot topic terms these days and uh, she's based in Senegal along with other stories as well but they centrally focus around um, <clears throat> the sexual liberation and the sexual freedom of uh, African women. Their sex lives, basically. So exciting. I don't know. I'm already so excited about just those three. Oh my God, I'm so excited. The next one is a sci-fi, I'd like to say, or fantasy. Now, this one I don't know too much on, but I've heard wonderful things on. Hate the stick up from Bargain Books, but I picked it up at 69 bucks. And this is a book that 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 is loved. Okay, I've heard great things about this book. Now, this is Black Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse. Apart from the sticker, that's a beautiful cover. So we, it says here, a God will return when the earth and sky converse under the black sun. In the holy city of Tova, the winter solstice is usually a time of celebration and renewal. But this year, it coincides with a solar eclipse, a rare celestial event prescribed by the sun priest in an unbalancing of the world. Meanwhile, a ship launches from the distant city bound for Tova and set to arrive in the solstice, on the solstice. The captain of the ship, Shiala, a disgraced teak whose song can calm the waters around her as easily as it can wrap a man's warp, a man's mind. Her ship carries one passenger, described as harmless. The passenger, Serapio, is a young man, blind, scarred, and cloaked with destiny. I don't know. It sounds exciting. I don't know. I'm trying to get into sci-fi and fantasy. Blame it on charity, but also blame it on uh, Red Rising. Truly, blame it on Red Rising because I loved it so much. So I'm getting into it. Okay, so can't wait to also try this one out. We also have to have African literature. What do you even mean? This is Yinka. Where is your who's born? Where is your who's born? This is by Lizzie. Uh, Demilola Blackburn, okay? And in this one, we follow Yinka who wants to find love, but the problem is her mother wants to find it for her. Now, if you read a lot of African literature, especially when it comes to um, Nigerian 
just just women on the African continent, more especially maybe on the west of the African continent, especially in African literature, the moms are hell bent on making sure that their daughters find love, find a man, a husband, make children, and all of this. And this one, we I'm really excited to read this one because I've heard that it's also quite funny. It's actually quite jovial as well. She also has many aunties. Many aunties who frequently pray for her delivery from singledom. This, this, okay, okay. Um, so in in this one, Yinka's cousin essentially uh, gets married, and that sort of spearheads Yinka deciding, okay, that's it, that's it. Um, she needs to find herself a date for her cousin's wedding. So this is not a this synopsis is not uncommon. I think I've read the synopsis in a number of books, but I'm looking forward to reading this one. This one's been sitting uh, on the shelf for a while, and I picked it up right here in this space right here. So I need to put another book there. So I'm going to read this, pick it up. Say so exciting. And then Memphis. Are you joking? Look at this cover. Look at this cover. Oh, I absolutely love it. And I think this is also a historical fiction novel where we follow different generations of women from the same family. So here we follow uh, Joan, who was only a child when she visited Memphis, but she remembers the bustle of Bale Street on a summer's night. Um, she doesn't know that she's likely to hear a gunshot ring out as the sound of children while the children are playing. How the smell of honeysuckle is almost overwhelming as she climbs the porch steps to the house where her mother grew up. But when the front door opens, she does remember Derek. So, yeah, we follow the women of the North family. They are no strangers to adversity and resilience, and it runs in their blood. So I don't know. I don't want to know too much about this, but I love books where we follow a generation of women from one family. One of the books that I loved absolutely the most is that one over there. It's by Jacqueline Woodson. Uh, Red at the Bone. I read a book a couple of years ago by Jacqueline Woodson called Red at the Bone. I've got it over there. It's sitting right there. I can see it. And I loved it. In that one, again, we also followed a generation of women from the grandmother to the mother to the daughter to her daughter. You know what I'm saying? And this is something along those lines as well. Really, really excited to read this one because then you watch the dynamics between motherhood grandmother um child all of that and you watch it you watch their relationships uh evolve over the years so i'm really really excited to read this one as well ah, i think it's such a great selection of books from different parts of the world as well um different genres well not that many different genres but you know what i'm saying girl you know what i'm saying so let's but let me show you what they are Oh, heavy. Alrighty. Okay. The first one is from Jonathan Ball Publishers. Thank you so much to them for this. This is Under the Tamarind Tree by Nagar Alam. And in this one we follow, it's a historical fiction set in Pakistan. And we follow Rosina, who is a medical attendant. She's basically a medical, she's in the medical career. And what happens is um, there's a difficult time. It follows a difficult time in 1964 in Karachi, Pakistan, where one tragic night, a death happens and it shatters everything in Rosina's life. Fast forward to 2019, so it's set in different time spans, something happens where Rosina gets a call from an old friend and this happens to kind of untether everything that has happened between then and now and Rosina needs to find her way uh, to, 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 to keep this in because she fought so hard to try and protect it. I don't know. All I know is that it sounds exciting and that the cover is exceptional. So we love that. Oh. This is the one that I bought. This is Night Crawling by Layla, Layla Motley. And again, hate the sticker, but I got it for 79 Rand. And this book was released last year. If not in 2023, definitely 2022. 2022 and in this book we follow Kiara who has an older 
brother who you know is just all about his music and recording and all of that doesn't necessarily really care much about Kiara she's got a mother who's staying in a halfway house and now she is put in this position where she needs to look after herself and her younger brother Trevor she's only 17 and she lives in this kind of motel apartment block kind of setup where uh now she finds herself looking at eviction right the landlord is just like i'm raising the price hiking the price my darling or else you're out so she ends up having to be a lady of the night if you understand what i'm saying and one day she runs into these two police officers and they strike a deal with her and they say look if you do this then we won't arrest you so they strike a deal with her that ends up uh having having her make a really difficult decision but also attracts a media storm i've heard wonderful things about this book i'm going to try my best to remove this when i take an, a break and chillax but i'm looking forward to reading this one as well when i don't know don't ask me questions i can't answer now, this one is another one that I'm really excited about. I think I might just add it to my TBR, to be honest. This is Night Bloom by Peace Azo Medi. If you do not know who Peace Azo Medi is, her debut novel was His Only Wife. And I absolutely loved it. I also have it it's somewhere there. Um, but in this one, we follow two friends who grow up in a um, Ghanaian town. We have Selassie and Akofa. And Akofa, oh okay uh very close i think they're cousins actually yes they're cousins but also at the same time very very good friends but as they grow up selassie kind of begins to change a little bit and they kind of drift apart a little with agofa but then many years later their paths happen to cross again and now at this stage selassie is agofa works for an international development corporation and selassie owns a restaurant in uh, yes at the hottest spot in Accra but something happens at Selassie's restaurant that causes their paths to intertwine and meet up again and I want to know what that is that's all I'm saying I want to know what that is Miss Mamas that's it that's it um, the last two my darling the last two my darling we've got Atlanta by Jennifer Saint this I'm so excited to read, but I can't read it just yet because I need to read these. These two are also by Jennifer Saint. We've got Ariadne and we've got Electra, and I want to read those. And I want to start with those because mostly a lot of the time Jennifer Saint's books are about Greek mythology, anything following the women of Greek mythology, certain women of Greek mythology, and in this one we follow Atlanta okay she's a daughter who is born to the king of arcadia and she brings only disappointment but um when she's left exposed on a mountainside atlanta uh is left to the passing of a mother bear oh my goodness and raised alongside the cubs under the protective eye of goddess artemis mowgli anybody but jungle boku maria ya ya mythology I love it. I love it. Swearing that she will prove her worth alongside the famed heroes of Greece. Atlanta, Atalanta, Atalanta, okay? Atalanta leaves her forest to join Jason's band of Ar Argonauts. But can she carve out her own place in the legends in a world made for men? <laughs> but look at that cover. It's also sparkly bright. Don't you love it? Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So excited. And the final so one is The Red Bird Sings by Ayoife. Ayoife Fitzpatrick. I can never say Nigerian authors' names, and I apologize for that. Look at this. I'm going to read this one out to you because I know nothing about it, but I'm excited about it. When young Zona Hester Shu dies only a few months after her wedding, her mother Mary Jane becomes convinced, Mary Jane Ilona, becomes convinced that Zona was murdered and by none other than Zona's husband, 
Trout, the handsome blacksmith beloved in their small southern town. But when Trout is put on trial, no one believes he could have done it, apart from Mary Jane and Zona's best friend Lucy, who is always suspicious. You know the best friends, we're always suspicious. We're always suspicious of our mans, our friends' mans. It's true. As the trial raises to fever pitch and the men of Green Bay County stand aligned against them, Mary Jane and Lucy wrestle with whether to reveal Zona's biggest secret in order to see justice served. So they know something about Zona that could potentially indict Trout and get him arrested and make it clear or Trout could be behind this. Yeah, but it's Zona herself, who from beyond the grave, who still has one last revelation to make. Ah, so excited! All these books just sound so exciting, don't they? Oh my God. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the video. What are you guys going to be reading? I'm so excited about the books that I'm gonna read. I need to switch up my TBR again and put some books further out and put the other ones closer to it's just it's a lot it's a lot girl but it's fine <laughs> it's fine uh yeah what are you guys going to be reading let me know i'm gonna go i hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always thank you so much for choosing me over and over and over again i appreciate you so so much like the video if you did and join the jk family and i'll see you in the next one until then Sayonara.